I grew up uh, tours to Israel before I could even remember. Uh, and then eventually moving so it was like to old Israel. Hat boring to you? No, it wasn't that. I mean, I loved Israel and things, but to understand really, because of like we were talking about earlier, uh, classical Christian theological misunderstandings sometimes. I'm sorry, Lars Anderson's her dad. <laughs> yeah, but still, he I saw grew up. Me, listen, he saw me <sighs> sitting in a sukkah by myself because my family didn't even join me. But I, they just said you were that? crazy. Yeah, yeah. here's they, crazy Lars out in the <laughs> No, it's but true. But eventually you got it. You remember we were in Haifa, and I said, I don't care what you're doing. I'm building a sukkah on the porch, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to sleep in the sukkah. I'm going to stay there and just praise God. And um, you probably thought I was a little bit. Uh, so what well, was I it, didn't John? Identify. What was it that, that, that got that clicked for you? <sighs> Well, really, it was the scriptures. I mean, you have to get into the Word. And um, at that point, I didn't identify, really, because it wasn't just Dad's teaching. I was part of church culture, all the places we would go, and just the mainstream of the understanding, your worldview as a Christian, um, our future hope of where we're going, what's the destiny, our destiny, what's, what's the point of Jerusalem, where is the kingdom coming, um, you know, where is eternity going to be? But... Uh, it was definitely the scriptures. I had a respect for the scriptures, um, and you know, when I was maybe around 20 or something like that, I had finished reading through the Bible in a year. I didn't like it at all. You didn't? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Well, I liked it. I enjoyed it, but in one sense. But uh, I plagued myself through it, kind of like you know, eating your vegetables um, when you're a kid. I'm doing this because I have to. I'm doing this because I know I have oh. to spiritually survive. But otherwise, what I like is worship music and just, you know, enjoying experiences with, the la, with la, God. The la-la-la of Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. yeah, but I mean, it's real, too. You can feel God's presence, but um, you can get, you can put your priority on emotional experience out of that. Um, but it was, Dad was introducing, he really wanted us to go through the Torah cycle He'd done it a couple of years um, by himself, but um, us guys in the family, he really wanted us to start reading the Word from Genesis 1-1 every week and really studying through it carefully with, uh, you know, messianic commentaries. And we did, and uh, that was, you know, six months of theological upheaval, of really examining what does God say, what, does, what do the Scriptures say, and really having your mind renewed in the Scriptures. But it took a long time, you know, just uh, 20 years of growing up in Christianity, um, just mainstream understandings to start shifting the focus, like, where, where is everything going? I think um, there was a Bible teacher, a Jewish man, who said like this, I have, I, a lot of people tell me, I just want to be where Je with Jesus. I just want to be where Jesus is. And he said, well, my question to you is, where do you think he is going? <laughs> And he's going to Jerusalem. Uh, I mean, you can read the promises about him ruling and reigning on the throne of David, which was in Jerusalem, forever. And it takes, you know, our, the, uh, the understanding, the mainstream understanding in some circles that's been with uh, the rapture for the last couple of hundred years. Um, just how we've taken, sometimes you can end up in a ditch when you take a truth too far. And that, I think, is what's happened. You've, you've had a, a lopsided picture, and I think the way that the rapture has been understood has completely left Jerusalem out of the picture. Maybe it plays a part in like end time type of exciting scenarios, but it doesn't have our future hope in it. It will really distracts you from the heart of God. Yeah. It really does because... That's his city. That's his city. And yeah. if we're not interested in his city, how can we claim that we love God? Mm -hmm. And Sukkot, I mean, that is the ultimate. That is about Jerusalem, about going up to God's holy hill in the Middle East, where it is. Uh, all the nations will stream to it, he said. You know, when Messiah is reigning there. When Messiah is reigning there. And that's what's so important for yeah. Christians to get. You know, yeah. we all grew up in mainstream Christianity. We all did. We yeah. all loved Jesus. We were all brought <laughs> up that way. We all right. had to adjust 
yeah. our, our attention to really line up with what the Word of God says. When, yeah, when it says all the nations are going to come up to Jerusalem when Messiah is ruling and reigning yeah. from there, well, wait a minute. Yeah, my, guess, fast, my fast track out of here, <laughs> I might be missing him. You know, I, right. I'm, I'm probably the oldest one of us here. Um, and I remember when I was very, very uh, young that that picture of Jesus, Yeshua, reigning from Jerusalem was totally foreign. Totally. Completely. So I have seen personally in my generation a tremendous change that has come. And uh, so looking back 40, 50, 60 years, there has been a groundswell of understanding among Christians across the board, I would say, even though it's a very small thing yet for most of them. But we are getting more and more of the focus uh, that God has for us uh, more and more. That's what I have seen. And, but isn't it yeah. interesting, Lars, that that has happened Yes. during the time that Israel has been a nation again. Exactly, there's no coincidence because the apostasy away from the apostolic faith began with the dispersion of the Jewish people mm -hmm. from their land. And oh. so their regathering again has been the instrument of awakening that original gospel from the apostles in Jerusalem. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.